Morning. Oh, here, taste this. What is it? Oh, it's my special maple syrup, honey brown sugar, molasses, rice, krispies log. How practical. A snack you can panel your den with. Some people put flour in it, but I think that makes it too heavy. My kids always liked it this way. Tell me, Rose, do any of your kids still have their own teeth? I know it's a little sweet, but it's Kirsten's favorite. So, what are you and your daughter uh, planning on doing this week? Oh, my granddaughter's never been to Florida before, so I thought I'd take them to Sea World and Gator World and Reptile World and, and Parrot Village. What? The parrots don't get a world? <laughs> well, this is outrageous. Dorothy, just look at this man. He is obviously guilty of sin. I don't even know why they're bothering with a trial. What trial? Oh, the Duncan Osgood trial. You know, that big society murder over in Palm Beach. What makes you so sure he's guilty? His wife was found at the bottom of their private lake, clutching his dickie in her hand. Well, that would certainly place him at the scene of the crime. Look at this. I'm a walking time bomb. 230 over 190. Stand back, I could blow any minute. Ma, you know that machine is not working. We shouldn't take any chances. I can't be moved. Somebody else will have to give up their room for Rose's family. Oh, you're fine. You're staying with me. You always complain, and we always get through it. All right, fine. But I'm begging you. While we're sleeping together, please, lay off the broccoli at dinner, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, I really appreciate you giving up your room. It's just so much more fun having the family here than at a hotel. I bet you're pretty excited about the visit. Oh, yes. And a little nervous. Nervous? Why on earth would you be <laughs> nervous at your daughter and your granddaughter? My friend Maria is always nervous when her daughter Teresa comes for a visit. Of course, her daughter is a hitman for the mob. <laughs> the rumor is she dated Frank Sinatra. You know the song, The Lady is a Tramp? It used to be Teresa is a Tramp. <laughs> Well, they had to change it for legal reasons. Ma, what are you talking about? Somebody asked me about Frank Sinatra. We were asking Rose why she's nervous about seeing her daughter. Then try to stay on the subject. Why are you nervous, Rose? Well, I'm nervous because I made Kirsten executor of my will and I have to go over the documents with her. Well, honey, she's a big girl. I mean, this may not be the, the most pleasant conversation you two will ever have, but she can handle it. Well, there are just some things in there that might surprise her. Oh, some deep, dark family secrets? No, I just don't know how she's going to react. Oh, boy, I'd love to put some surprises in my will. Like leaving a small remembrance to each of the men who has brought some special joy or pleasure to my life. Uh, where would they read that will, Blanche? The Astrodome? Uh, or maybe i just do something like... To my sister Virginia, I hereby bequeath my diamond brooch, my collection of Wedgwood china, and all my stock in AT&T. You have stock in AT&T? I don't have any of those things, but for one brief moment, Virginia would think she'd hit the jackpot. <laughs> that swan is a tram. Are they here yet? Uh, no, not yet, but uh, Rose left for the airport over an hour ago. Wait until you see what I bought. Oh, I found the most stunning silk dress, an incredibly revealing lace nighty. And look, these just adorable sequin socks. <laughs> sequin socks? I think they kind of make a personal statement. Yeah, this end up. <laughs> oh, Thea. Anyway, I'm glad I got back before Kirsten and Charlie got here. Who's Charlie? Rose's granddaughter. That's a girl's name, Charlie? That's a bookie's name. Honey, she's named after Rose's husband. Rose's husband was a bookie? <laughs> he sold insurance. An even bigger racket. 